for those who don't know, Aberdeen have got themselves a new manager, at least uh, an interim manager until the end of the season. Aberdeen have appointed uh, a one-time employee of the man to my right, Mr Simon Jordan. Neil Warnock has taken the job from this point onwards. First up for Warnock, a trip to Ibrox to meet uh, Rangers tomorrow night. 75-year-old Neil Warnock. I mean, Simon, you know him better than anybody. Mm. What is it? That, that makes him want to keep on having an involvement in the game. He just does, you know. And it's this time of year, he'll say it himself. It comes around to February, I'll, I'll go to work for somebody and fix everyone else's mistakes. And he tends to do that. And if you look at... I mean, the job he did for me at Palace was brilliant because he brought everybody together. Young players like Victor Moses and Scott Sinclair and other young players that we had in, in the team were allow, allowed to express themselves. And I found it very easy to work with him because he just got on with his job. And 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 it was an easy relationship. And he and what he does is he brings people into a situation where they believe in themselves, which is what a dressing room needs at times. Because if you're going in to fix problems rather than going into a side that's winning, it's a different dynamic, completely different dynamic. Yeah. Um, and yeah. and if you look at the job he's done at Cardiff, if you look at the job he did at Huddersfield, if you look at the job that he did at Chef U with me at Palace at Queens Park Rangers, and you can go on and on and on, um, and say none of them, or you know, in terms of as auspicious as some of the big jobs in football, but someone's got to do these jobs and someone's got to do them well. And Neil will go in there and Aberdeen will be better for the period of time that he's there. And he's a name, Graham. It's, it's good for the Scottish game. A, a decent yeah, name goes yeah, into uh, the game and is going to lend himself to it for a while. Vastly experienced. Um, I don't know where he, don't know where he gets his appetite for it because, you know, it's 75. Um, he's still up for dealing with young men who... We have egos that they shouldn't have, polite way of putting it. Um, I'm a I'm a believer now. That the tail wags the dog in football now. You know, the players have the biggest say. They're the ones that um, mm. control the job. Do you like Warner? I I don't know. I mean, I, I I admire I admire his work. I think you know Simon alluded to it. You know, he's not at any of the really big big jobs, um, but he certainly can hold his own when he goes in there and he's asked to do a bit of a firefighting job. And Aberdeen right now are struggling. And they've got arguably right now the most difficult game he could possibly have is his first game away to Glasgow Rangers at Ibrox. Yeah. Who Rangers are on fire at the moment. He's a so, multifaceted manager. How many jobs would he have? Twenty? I think it's probably up to that level. I remember when he came in with me and they put the headlines in the newspapers were, you know, a marriage made in hell, football's two most combustible characters. It was nothing like well, that. Well, we can understand yeah, that. Yeah, well, but, but that's perception. <laughs> Shut up, you. Um but he was 57 then. He said, oh, this will be my last job. That'll be another job for me. He's had about 12 since then. Made so, more money than, so, than he's ever right, made in his qu life. Question. 20 jobs. Mm. Why has he not gone to one club and stayed for any length of time? Well, I think if you look at the times he's been at most of the clubs, he's not, he's not, he's not been in them for five minutes. Some of them are recent jobs. I mean, I'm not his PR agent, but some of them are recent jobs. Um, like the Huddersfield job. And, and I think the, he had about three years at Cardiff. I think he had three yeah. years at Cardiff. Mm. He had three years at Palace. He was at Sheffield United for a long period of time. Mm. Um, he was at Queen's Park Rangers. I mean, when you're working for a loon like Flavio Briatore, you ain't going to stay there long, are you? <laughs> Let's have it right. See, um, hold up. What was his name? Briatore. Briatore. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah. What other loons has he worked for? Oh, <laughs> oh it's, uh, there's been Cheek a few. Shot, so nice. Cheek shots. Cheek shots. So he's in there. Uh, and as Graham rightly says, right. uh, mm. Neil and Aberdeen head to the west of Scotland tomorrow night to, to face uh, Rangers. Um, and that is always a hotly contested affair. Time. Yeah, as as you would testify. They don't like Graham. each other very much, Tim. They do you know not. What? No, you you always had a little bit of trouble staying on the pitch. What we're talking about next was Sheffield United next. Was okay, it? well done to Neil Warnock though and Aberdeen because they've got their man. And is he the man to help Aberdeen with their current dismal record in the SPL? One six and twenty two. Turn that around, Neil. And that's the challenge. Neil, good afternoon. How does it feel? Yeah, good afternoon, Jim. Uh, uh, very good, thanks, Graham and Simon's there as well with you. Isn't it? I mean, it's just it just tickled my fancy, really. I've always <laughs> wanted to, I've just always wanted to manage up here, and uh, you know, it's a it, historic good club, uh, my kind of club, really. You know, and, uh, genuine supporters, and I'm looking forward to it, really. Uh, Dave Cormack asked me would I come and just steady the ship and and let him take the time picking the next manager. You know, so that's my kind of job, really. <laughs> I can hear your phone going, Neil. Um, obviously, there's big interest in the in the decision that you've made. Did it take you long to make your mind up, or did you just say right away, "No, yeah, I'm doing this"? No, I mean, it's, to be <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't about money because I was offered more money last week uh, in England. But it's it's just something that I think when you get to my age, you, 
I know it sounds silly, but you you want things that excite you, really, and it does excite me. Um, you know, the the wind is closed, so it's not as if I'm going to be signing anybody. They've got they were a little bit short in certain areas, but I'm, I just think it's a, it's one of them clubs, Aberdeen. I, I once applied for it years ago, and never I never even got a reply really. But it, even that drove me on to to better things, and uh, and and I'm, I'm I'm just looking forward to getting stuck in. I mean, uh, it would have been nice to start next week, but. Uh, you know we've got Rangers tomorrow, so if we if we struggle tomorrow, I'll blame Peter uh, for the preparation. <laughs> and if we do well, if we do well, it'll be all down to me. What's the task, Neil? What 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 they want you to do? What's what's in the minds of the owners by bringing you in? What they're trying to get you to arrest or develop or or build towards? I think they just want. I just wanted. I said to him to David Cormack, just let's try and have a little bit of fun. Everybody's so serious nowadays. And I, I want to do, I want to get the results. I want to, we're still in the cup. I know your big clubs are always going to be favourites, but I think the cup and uh, and the finishing respectable up in the league um, is not beyond us. And and that's, that's all, you know, he hasn't said anything really. I think he's just relieved that he hasn't got to make a decision, a massive decision at this moment, because there's a lot of, changing at the club at the minute they're, they're bringing different members of staff in and you know everything's data proven and every you know so it, it just gives I'm, I, to be fair Simon I mean, I'm just going to enjoy it I'm just going to roll my sleeves up and get stuck in <laughs> you can't, can't say fairer than that absolutely I mean that's, that's the approach that, that Neil has I'm just wondering how you know you look back at the recent times Neil with with the, 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 the ridiculous turnaround that you had at Rotherham, the wonderful success you had at Cardiff, and in times with Huddersfield, and how much this challenge that you've got in front of you with Aberdeen is like those challenges? Well, I mean, <laughs> when I told Sharon, I must admit, Sharon did say, Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you couldn't get any further away from our house. Uh, but I just, as I, as I said to her, I said, listen, he's not that love. He's going to be, I'm going to go into it. I'm going to put everything I can into it. Uh, and I'm going to try and give it, the fans at Aberdeen something to smile about in the next few months. I mean, Graeme Souness is here with, with Simon and myself in studio. And, Neil, you're what, 69, 70, mate? Would you, I'm, would... I'm 70. I'm, 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 I admire your um, enthusiasm and your passion for the game, Neil. Um that's that's not an easy job, and it's you know you're starting it right now the hardest game you could possibly have up in Scotland going to Glasgow Rangers tomorrow, and obviously I, I won't I don't want you to do well there, but please do well beyond that. But uh, yeah. you know Aber- Aber- Aberdeen, you know historically I've always had a good good group of players and they've drifted a wee bit. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, I'm, so I'm, I wish you well. It, it Remember, it's a team that's won a European competition. Yeah, 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 the Cup Winners' Cup, yeah. 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 Mm, so yeah, I wish you well. On you go, Neil. I mean, you know you know what you've got to do. They've won six and twenty two. Hey, listen, Graham. You've got as most as difficult a job as me working with them two. I know. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm intrigued. When you said a couple of minutes ago you offered more money last week, that wasn't by Talk Sport, was it? No, you. Hey, I'm, not unless you you know something that I don't. <laughs> uh, well, there's no money well, left, Neil, because uh, soon as it's taken off. Well. Oh yes. <laughs> but what have you heard about the place and the bunch of lads? I mean, great, Graham is right. Uh, Aberdeen Rangers are Rangers. Aberdeen's a feisty affair at the best of times. Yeah. Certainly was when you played, Graham. Mm. I mean, what what can you instill in these boys to go to Ibrox, Neil, and attempt to get something? Well, they've just got to have a go. I mean, you know, nobody expects us to get anything. So, you know, I'm just going to ask them one or two things what I picked up on Saturday and just see if we can get a good, make a good game of it. I don't want to go there and just defend. And, and you know, I want us to try and have a go when we can. You've got a I goal mean, scorer, good. haven't you? Who's the guy up front? Oh, Graham, I just see his goal on Saturday. I mean, his goal at the weekend. I mean, that would grace any league in the world mm. if he's finished. And, uh, and, he, and he, you know... He looks, he, he looks the part, and he, he works hard as well. So you know that's not a department. We're a bit short on the wide players, and a bit short in you know centre halves at the minute. A couple of injuries, but um, you know we, I've not got a, a window to work with. So I'm just going to get on with what we've yeah. got and, and yeah. not moan about it. Well, that was Bojan Miofsky who, who uh, opened the scoring against Celtic. Celtic got a point uh, and left with a 1-1 draw. Neil, d- just before you go, many people asking us to ask you, and thanks for joining us live. I know you're so busy at that end. Your phone, your phone proves that. At 75, where do you get your appetite from for the game? It doesn't, I mean, when Sharon... I enjoyed Christmas this year with the kids. And I didn't miss football at all. You know, they usually kick me out of the house on Christmas Day for a Boxing Day game. <laughs> Uh, and I really enjoyed it with, with, with William and Amy and, and Sharon there, down there. But 
you know, Sharon always said, look, if you want something crops up in February uh, and it takes you, you know, then I don't mind if you want a couple of months. And and that's what happened. I, I, like I say, it wasn't money. I mean, I was offered more in England last week. I just fancied it. I, I, I've got a place at Danoon, you know, um, Green Up Morton's my club uh, up here. Green Up Morton. Did you just yeah, say you've got, got a place in Danoon? He did. We have, yeah, I've got a place in Danoon and... Uh, you know, uh, I think we're, I've always stuck up with me and McCoy. So I've always had a go against Alan, you see, and so people think I'm that. But I've, I've always supported Green Up Morton. We got we got bricks in the wall there, our family. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and it's uh, so it's, it's just a lovely area. And I, and I thought, really? yes, I know it's I know it's a long way and, and and all that. But I thought if I can if I can try and put smiles on people's faces for a few months, that's all I want to do. Neil, absolutely love you for that. Simon, go on. But your, your, your former employee... I have already spoken well. to this morning. He knows I, 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 he'll go out there and do a job. There's no doubt about it. I mean, ultimately, I've had to listen to this morning, Neil, that, that yeah. from Sooness, that apparently you've had to work for two loons because I described Briatoria as a loon and Sooness was trying to suggest that I was one too. You've got an opportunity to, to debunk right, thanks, that Thanks, Neil. See ya. See you, mate. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Neil, good listen, luck. I'm Neil, very best of luck, but not tomorrow night. Hey, hey, listen, Graham, when I first met Simon, uh, I tapped to put a striker up for his and, uh, and he didn't like it. And so we, we we played him down there and he come to see me and he were aggressive as he were, you know, and all that. Well, uh, But after after we had a talk, it became clear what he was like. And it, to be fair, he's one of the best chairmen I've ever worked with. He supported me. Please stop like there. <laughs> so shut your traps, please. Please stop there. That's enough now, isn't it? Neil, good luck. <laughs> Neil, well good luck. Done. It's good a luck. great good story. Luck, well done, mate. Thank Neil Warnock at 75. I mean, Graham. Fair play, Tom. I mean, I, my fire went out 17, 18 years ago. I don't know how he still does it. Yeah. For that job. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a, for being in here. Because it's Jim, longevity. Not, not for being in here. Not for being in here. He doesn't quit things after two or three months. Yeah. I, I, I come back you, with his tail between his legs. I thought you need some help. That's why I'm here. Oh, really? I feel I'm making inroads. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Jim, we're delighted to have you. Aberdeen are delighted to have Neil Warnock. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.